Hello again, boys and girls. Welcome to Faith Place at Home. I hope you guys had a great week last week. I hope you spent some time practicing um, what we talked about, obeying God's golden rule and treating other people the way you would like them to treat you. God had to remind me a couple of times, hey Pam, remember that lesson you talked to the kids about? Well, you have to do it too. So I want you to know that God uses these scriptures and these lessons to teach me and try to keep me straight as much as I hope he uses them in your life. Well, starting this week, we're going to begin the next couple of weeks talking about a topic that God covers quite a bit in his Bible. It's an important topic. And he spends a lot of time with it in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And that is our words, our mouths. Sometimes in the Bible, the scriptures talk about our tongue. What he's talking about is the things that we say. They are a big deal. I think sometimes in our culture, we have a lot of places now that people can put out all sorts of words. And you know what? We're not always careful with what we say to our family, with what we say to our friends, with what we put on our Instagram or Facebook or whatever you guys may see that belong to your mom or dad, or I don't know, maybe they let you have your own. There are a lot of words out there and our words are really, really important. God cares a lot about what kinds of words we use. So we have a lot that we're going to get to learn the next couple of weeks. But this week, I wanted to start out with a passage of scripture that's actually in the Old Testament. It is from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah was one of the major prophets in the Old Testament. And I'm going to read a really, really cool passage so we're going to see some kind of neat things that Isaiah got to see. But what I want you to understand when we're done is how important our words are. So listen as I read to you from Isaiah. It's chapter number six, if you have your Bible and you would like to read along with me. And so I'm going to read Isaiah chapter six, starting in verse number one. It says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered with his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Wow, how incredible is that? God let Isaiah see his throne. Did you catch that? Did you see what it says God was dressed in? Have you ever seen pictures on TV or in a book of a king and they will have a big cloak with a train? It's a sign of being royal. He's a king. He's important. And here, God's train filled his whole temple. Wow. And he let Isaiah see this. Not only that, did you catch that God has creatures we have never seen? These verses describe something called seraphim, and they had six wings. Have you seen any creature with six wings? I have not seen any creature with six wings, but God has made beings that are around him that have six wings, and they can fly. Wow. How incredible is that? Isaiah 
not only got to see God sitting on his throne in his incredible train, Isaiah got to see these seraphim that are around God's throne and they're flying and they're crying out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And as they're crying, the place is shaking. Oh my goodness, can you imagine what Isaiah must be thinking at this sight that he probably never imagined that he would get to see they're worshiping God, the place is shaking, it's filling with smoke. I wonder what Isaiah is thinking. Well, let's go back to chapter 6, and we're going to find out Isaiah's reaction to what he is witnessing. So we're back, Isaiah chapter 6. I'm going to read starting in verse number 4. Then said I, this is Isaiah talking, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. What was the first thing that Isaiah thought of when he saw this incredible, incredible scene when he saw God on his throne his first thought was oh, woe is me why because I have unclean lips Isaiah thought about all the things that he said that were unclean now I don't know what that meant for Isaiah if he had cursed the things that he had said that were lies, the things that he had said that just were not kind. But Isaiah was standing before our God, our holy, holy, holy God. And his first thought was, oh no, what have, have I said? And then he thought, oh no, it's not just me. I live around all these people with unclean lips, the things he has heard that were not clean. Wow, boys and girls, do we think that what we say is a big deal? I think it is. Because Isaiah showed when he stood before our beautiful, incredible, holy God with these incredible creatures that he made, the first thing he thought of was, what are the things that I have said? Wow. That tells you and that tells me that what we say is important. God hears and God cares. And here's what's cool. And we have a lot that we're going to talk about and learn about over the next few weeks. But God was able to clean Isaiah's lips. And God can clean our lips from the things that we say. And he can clean us from the things that we hear that are not good from the people around us. And we'll talk about that more in the next couple of weeks. But what I want this to do is to encourage you and encourage me. We need to pay attention to what we say. This week, that is my challenge to you, is to pay attention to the words that you say and think man, what I'm saying to my mom, to my family, to my friends, to my neighbors that we talked about last week, is it clean or is it unclean? So that's our challenge is to think about that. And in light of that, here is our memory verse for this week. It is Proverbs 21, 23. Now, I told you the Bible has a lot to say about the Bible. I mean about our words, but this is where we're going to start. Proverbs 21, 23 says, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. That is a very true statement. If we learn to watch what we say and keep our mouth and our tongue, we're going to keep our soul from a lot of trouble. Well, boys and girls, I love you and I miss you. Hey, I want to encourage you 
be looking next week. You are going to have a very special greeting from some people that you will recognize that miss you and are looking forward to seeing you again. So be on the lookout for that. Be practicing your memory verses. Uh, boys and girls that are in fifth grade, don't think that I have forgotten about you. Keep working on those verses. I know it's almost time for you to go leave Faith Place and take your spot in with the junior high, but I haven't forgotten you. I'll have something special for you for those verses that you have been memorizing and then sending me. I'm very proud of so many of you, so keep it up. It's not too late to start. Have a great week. Watch your words, and I'll talk to you next week. Love you guys. Bye.